back to the ranch, Dr. Uptown here, bringing you another 1911, except this one is really special. It's uh, got a lot of years on it. This is a, a World War II veteran, and it came from a World War II veteran. Uh, his grandson brought in to be cleaned up and uh, looked over, and so we did. But we found out a few interesting things about it. The slide is an Ithaca Gun Company slide. However, it does have uh, the Guy Dreary proof mark on it, as well as the other proof mark on it. And if you guys are connoisseurs, you know that the Guy Dreary proof mark is from the Colt factory. So, Ithaca slide with a Colt frame. Serial number does work out to uh, a Colt manufacturer and as you can see it is marked US property US Army 1911A1 but does have the uh, Rock Island Arsenal mark on it so it has been re-arsenaled over the years along with the uh, flaming bomb mark just kind of uh, did a little research on this part by part and what we found was uh, this appears to be a uh, uh, US uh, switch and signal thumb safety the uh, slide stop does seem to be correct for an Ithaca uh, mainspring housing is uh, correct for Colt from 44 to 45 as does the uh, grip safety seems to be correct for Ithaca the trigger is correct for Ithaca from 43 to 45. The uh, holster that it had with it was also a correct holster for 42. These grips, if you notice, they are uh, the ones that you frequently see on the World War II style pistols. They are Bakelite. And these are key from the Keys Company. Um, however, the um, on the underside of them is the contract number and the contract number goes to keys grips from the Korean War era. So what I suspicion is, is that perhaps this originally had uh, keys bake like grips on it and they got fragile and broke as was kind of known to happen with the World War II issued grips and so they replaced them at some point with the newer era grips but I uh, wanted to keep that same look. Um, beyond that it has the revision four sights which are common for that uh, that era and um, the little and company uh, magazine it's got in the difference is is the uh, the very front end is a little bit longer so it was a uh, really nice piece that was brought in to be cleaned up it does have a little surface rust on it um, and what we'll do is advise them to uh, keep it out of the holster. Uh, probably had been left in the holster for years and just the uh, leather off of that holster absorbed some moisture and allowed uh, a little bit of pitting. It's not very deep but it is a little bit of pitting on the slide. One of the things that is very interesting with this and obviously this video is not going to show it but it's interesting this would have been a uh, even with the uh, serial number it's it's correct for a 43 uh, frame so 43 44 era pistol the tooling marks that are on it um, the slide has cross serrations in it um, underneath the uh, firing pin stop very coarse tooling marks um, the other th place that you really notice the very coarse tooling marks is on the inside of the dust cover and on the inside of the frame back in the area where the uh, main spring housing and sear springs sit. Very, very coarse tool marks on the inside of it. Stuff that would obviously never have been uh, allowed to pass quality control under normal circumstances, but uh, being uh, mid-war effort trying to throw out as many as possible I'm sure was the case um, significantly coarse tool marks throughout the pistol but apparently functioned fine the uh, 
original GI that was issued this uh, made it home without a scratch and uh, when he was discharged purchased this pistol and it's been in the family ever since so like I say it's certainly not a showpiece and it is uh, certainly not necessarily a franken gun in the sense that it does have parts from a lot of different manufacturers on it however all the parts are period correct for this pistol and the fact that it was issued so while it is a franken gun yes but it's also period correct uh, and being a war issued gun anyway this is the Ithaca slided Colt framed US Army issued 1911 from approximately 1930 or 1943 hope you guys find this interesting we'll talk to you later you have a good day